Hey everyone. So today I have a traveler's notebook spread to do for my book project and I will be documenting Paper Girls. Whenever I want a fun, easy book to read basically, I turn to graphic novels. And I started this like two years ago, I think, in December 2017, because it was December daily and life was so hectic, I figured why not treat myself to easy books in the month of December. So I branched out to children's books and graphic novels and I love it. Now I just do it occasionally throughout the year, but mostly in December. But this series is so good. It is my favorite series so far. It's five volume so far. No sign of six, so that's frustrating because I want to know what's going to happen. So for this spread, I took a bunch of In a Creative Bubble cards and I just layered them behind this photo that I found online, which I'm going to split across. And I just took pieces of the cards and I even made um, just my own colors in Photoshop elements. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the bottom yellow layer and I think I've said this before, I just print the pieces that I need, not necessarily the entire card. So that's what I did here. That's why you see pieces of journaling cards. And I'm just building up the layers from the bottom to the top. And then I have these pink cards that I'm going to place um, that are going to be kind of the top layer that mat the image I found online. And I kind of went with every single color in this colorful um, image that I found. That's why I use so many different journaling cards from In a Creative Bubble. And then I'm just folding those um, papers over so that way it's more dimension. And I've got the left side pretty much finished now. And now I'm building the right side and I'm kind of holding the image the half of the image in place. That way I can use that to kind of figure out where I want the other layers and to make sure that they go right. And I also had to print a few extra pieces that I was missing. So I printed those and now I can finish the right side. And I'm gonna put some adhesive down and start with the yellow layer and then decide that the blue needs to go next. And once again, holding that image down so that way I can make sure I get things correctly layered. This was definitely a fun challenge to transfer from digital to hybrid because it's easy to do it as digital and move the layers, but it's not so easy when it's hybrid. So I got the blue down and I got that uh, teal blue asterisk paper. I think that's the pattern. Got that one down and now I'm gonna do the pink and I'm just tucking it underneath the image. And now I can finally lay down the actual image now that I have all the layers that I want. And then I took the um, actual book covers and I found images of those and I trimmed them down really small and made a little border at the bottom with another in a creative bubble journaling card. That way I could show off the entire series. So I'm just trimming those down so that way that they will f all fit on the bottom. I thought that I had planned it so they would have more room, but that's okay. And then I have this new um, color cast piece that I got that says reading. And I thought I was gonna put it on the black, but it just um, wasn't popping enough. So I'm just gonna leave it on the pink. And I'm pulling out some more color cast designs, the new um, acrylic mix that I got. And I have a star that I'm gonna put in the middle of that one that says today's adventure. And then I have some more pieces like cliffhanger and seriously, or no, I picked, didn't see that coming because this ending ended on a cliffhanger and I did not see a lot of what happening I didn't see it coming, really didn't, but I love this series, like I said, and I have lots of stars that I'm going to add to this spread and get my fingers all sticky with glue. 
So I'm just making little clusters and then I have some another set that's currently in right now. So I added that. So that way it kind of says currently reading and I'm gonna put that down and I am wrapping up this layout. It may look like it came together quick, but <laughs> it was not so quick with all the layers, but it's a fun challenge to document this cool graphic novel series that I'm reading. All right, this one is done. I love how colorful and fun this one is. Oh, it was fun to make. And I'm glad it came out the way I had planned. Because sometimes you make a digital layout and you wonder how you're gonna transfer it into a physical layout. And you transfer it into a physical layout and it doesn't turn out how you envisioned and how it looked digitally. So I love all the layers and the dimension and the texture that this layout has in it. I have some color cast designs there. So much fun to add the stars and the little um, reading sayings. So much fun. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I would love a thumbs up. Or if you're new, I'd love a subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.